What's up, y'all? It's your man, Dave Hollister, the Ghetto Preacher. Look here. Go to iTunes and get my new single, Spend the Night. Album comes out September 30th. I want y'all to keep it locked right here because you're watching Madame Noir. Well, since witness protection, I have been uh, just actually trying to focus on me, you know, getting me together, making me whole, uh, because of, you know, I kind of left the, the R&B scene, you know, because I lost myself. Uh, so since then, I've been just trying to, you know, get me whole again, you know, so I could, so I could be the best me. Uh, and then if I'm the best me, I can give y'all the best music. Uh, the album is called Chicago Winds, the saga continued, and Spend the Night is a single from that album, the first single from that album. My car accident in 2004 uh, brought me closer back to God in that I, I was supposed to be dead. Slammed on the side of a wall over the Topanga Canyon, the car was hanging over the canyon. and. One wrong move, I could have went over that canyon and died, but God let me get out of that car and walk down the canyon without a scratch on my body, you know? And it was, the Bible says that, 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 that warning comes before destruction. And I've had so, I had so many warnings before, and that's why I was telling you I had to go back to Chicago and, uh, and just get myself together before, you know, and those two albums, were therapy for me. They were questions. The first one, which was the Book of David, Volume One, The Transition, and then Witness Protection. Those were therapy albums for me. They were basically questions to God and, and, and letters to God. Um, and all my questions were answered. Uh, knew, found out what my real purpose was, and um, you know, in that, brought me to you know to the path of my destiny, which is pastoring and what I'm doing now. I am a pastor of a church in Antioch, California. It's part of a uh, organization. There is, uh, we have six locations and I pastor one of them. I've never felt like I had to choose between secular and gospel. And I, I, I say this a lot. Um, people ask me, you know, are you a gospel artist? Are you a secular artist? I'm not, an, I'm not ne I'm neither, I'm a messenger, you know. So whatever it is that God puts in my heart to sing at that moment, that's what I'm gonna do. And it's, I'm not gonna let anybody pigeonhole what I do when I do it. Mace leaving his church, uh, I did not know he left his church. He's definitely one of the people that I reached out to when I was asked to pastor. Um, and uh, he, he definitely encouraged me to do it, you know, but to not, he was the first person to say, Man, don't leave what you're doing, because if I knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have never stopped. Because you can use uh, you can use that platform to minister to people. Mace leaving his church uh, is a shock to me, you know. But you know, if that's what God told him to do, that's what God told him to do. I, I have no, you know. The BS2 on my fan page is supposed to be Black Street Second Generation, um, but we kind of we kind of changing some of that around so it's bs2 for right now we we, we haven't said what the acronym is going to be yet those three guys that we have incredible singers and performers they got a lot of energy you know and we want to they have a new record coming out and we want to get them from up under the stigma of black street that's why we kind of trying to change the name a little bit so we don't have to deal you know with put that pressure on them with the other legal bindings. <clears throat> so the violence that's going on in Chicago is nothing new. It's just now we're getting more press. It's been happening since I've been born. You know, nothing new. You know, I don't I don't know I don't know where why all of a sudden it's getting, you know, a lot of attention, but it's been the same way for as long as I've known. The state of R and B currently is to me non existent. Um, and it is uh, a couple of us who want to really want to fight to resurrect it uh, or fight to keep it um, because we got a lot of, uh, and I'm going to try to be politically correct, we got a lot of blue-eyed soul out there going on. And uh, you, you, <laughs> it's hard to imitate us. 
which is the reason why I decided to do me. You know what I mean? I decided to try to bring back 90s music. You know what I mean? So, uh, because, you know, those are concerts that seem to be selling right now. The 90s musics they call us back in the day. I'm cool with that. I can be old school, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you on the radio at the same time. If you put those same artists on the stage with us, they got the catalog or they have current music, but they couldn't do what we do.